Good morning, my name's George Holtby and I run the sporting cell here at Charterhouse, which is happening on the 21st of April, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. You can view all of our lots on thecellroom.com or on our website. You can come and view here physically and you can bid over the phone, you can bid online uh, and of course you can bid in the room or leave a bid with us. Um, I'm just going to talk you through a few of my favourite lots. Uh, we've got a fantastic and quite eclectic selection of lots here this time and we're very proud of what we've got together which is um, going to be our first sporting sale that we've had for a while. Um, what I'm going to start with here is this beautiful leather oak lined James Purdy and Sons double shotgun case. Absolutely charming thing with the original label in there. We're expecting that to make between two and four hundred pounds. Um, you know, if you've got two Purdies and you don't have a case and you enjoy going and doing a bit of grouse shooting, you're going to need and want this. Um, we've got cased fish here, we've got plenty of other fishy lots as well. We're expecting this one to do certainly a few hundred pounds, two to four hundred perhaps. Um, here we've got cased birds, bit of taxidermy, there's lots more taxidermy. We've got a we've got a stuffed bear, we've got we've got a zebra hide, and um just walking down here. The sporins. <laughs> you got the outfit to go with that. <laughs> I'm afraid not, but I've got friends that do. Um, and here, lovely Cooper and Sons cased duck here in a naturalistic setting. We're certainly expecting that to do three to five hundred pounds and um, walking down two of the, the uh, most impressive um, things in sporting auction is um, these Frances Mabel Holland's studies of horses. Now she was, uh, she was commissioned privately by a lot of people that owned race horses, hunters etc um, and here we have Bronto and Saurus, Brontosaurus uh, we're expecting those to, to do maybe a thousand pounds each and um, going down here, we've got um, more fishy items here. Lovely mahogany tackle box here with twin compartments and a drawer. And lot one of the sale here, certainly one of my favourite items, is this French Alps cowbell. Lovely thick hide collar here. It must have been a big beast. And if you've got a chalet, out in the Alps, or just a house with lots of sporty things in it, then you're going to want that to hang on your wall. And that's come in from a private private estate, and um, fantastic thing. We've got sets of sporting prints, um, lots of those, very smart. Whips, fly whip here, useful thing, especially in the summer more fishing rods, we've got a carved wood study of the line of Lucerne here and um, just to go around here another another horse picture that I particularly like this Susan Crawford lovely thing she painted some of the some of the best race horses of the last hundred years including Red Rum and Grand National winners and um, we've got this again from a private estate and um, we're certainly hoping that that will make high hundreds, if not a thousand. Um, another pair of very smart things here, the, um, the painted European deer heads with um, painted, painted real sets of antlers there. Half hull ships, very smart things. And um, one of the main collections that we've got in this cell, I don't know if you can just see around here, is we've got a fantastic collection of around 40 no, Sorry, yeah. right. 40 of these black forest bears. This one is particularly impressive with the tree and it's got three bears on it. We're expecting that to make into the thousands. And um, who wouldn't want one of those? I mean, it looks smart in any house. And if you look back down there, you might be able to just see we've got got a few more that you can see and there's, there's a few more hidden around there. Um, we've also got smaller slightly more pocket sized ones if you haven't got the house to suit those because they are pretty large some of them um just to go around sorry switching around a bit 
where these fishing reels go? I had them here, and now they disappear. Anyway, a pair of fighting cock. There are quite a lot of fishing reels in this area. Yeah. And we've got, just in the cabinets here, we've got various hardy fishing reel here's that's a that's a modern nice usable one that you could actually take up to scotland and go and catch a salmon with then we've got more vintage type ones with the ivory handle there very smart and they're usually around 100 pounds or over really probably a bit less for a modern one and you can actually go and use that oh i'll just leave that down there so I'm going to pass you over now to Richard, um, who's going to talk you through our pictures section. And um, our next sporting auction is going to be in October. Um, so if, you are, if you've got anything you'd like to consign for that, get in touch with me. I'm George, and you can find all of my details on the website. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, wandering through some pictures now. Hello again. Hi, this time again, it's Richard here, Richard Brummel, and I'm going to take you a whistle stop tour through our picture section. Um, thanks very much to George there of showing us around his sporting items there. And they're quite interesting, really, because some of his items are only estimated for £50 up to about £4,500. It goes to show what a huge market that is. But we're here today now to talk about our picture auction. The uh, picture auction is the second part of the uh, big two day auction camp on, the, on Thursday, the 21st of April and I'm going to start off with this because this is something that most of you are going to recognize Lawrence Stephen Larry and he painted matchstick men and matchstick cats and dogs this is a print so it's basically if you've got a laser photocopy you can run a couple off but it's actually signed down the bottom here and this is one of the limited edition that the family bought in the mid the mid 1970s and they've got here the original little brochure which shows you the additions, and uh, they've uh, they calculated the, the the cost plus the framing is 145 pounds and 80 pence. There we go. And this is it. They only made 850 of these. Now, Larry is good news at the moment, and although it's a print, this is going to bring between 3,000 and 4,000 pounds. Quite amazing when you compare it to something like this. Here he is. Here's a uh, Jesus on the cross. Here, the skill, the draftsmanship. This is an original oil painting, and yet this is estimated at around about £800. Um, maybe it's because <laughs> there's a stronger market for Larry's than there are for Jesus on the Cross. And I suppose if you consider the original Larry today, I mean, the original one appeal part is probably going to be £5 million going upwards of that. So a bit of a, a, bit of a contrast there between sort of a, a 19th century painted picture and a print which is signed by the artist but coming up through here we've got a really broad selection of pictures prints and uh, books today uh, this is interesting if you're a local person this is painted by William Anstis Brown or Bill Anstis Brown uh, he attended Sherborne School um, he went to the uh, Slade School of Art and he went back to Sherborne School and he ended up running the art department there and uh, it's quite unusual for him because it's actually a normal picture quite often you're liable to see he has a great one of using artistic license and he's a great one of actually putting i don't know windsor castle into a dorset sea so a picture like that probably around about 100 maybe 150 pounds coming up here we've got flowers we've got ships we've got classic scenes here uh, this is a bit of a scary one um, I hope you can see that is a it's a load of ghosts coming down the stairs. Um, I don't think that's really a subject I've seen painted before. I mean, I've only been doing this for thirty years, and that's that's it at three to five hundred. We've got portraits, we've got still life, we've got I don't know what's happening here. You've got sheep running down the path. We've got more portraits. We've got Australian schools. Just gonna come on round it. Just get in front there. Country scenes, more pretty ladies, books, loads of books. We've got still life with bird's nests. We've got artist proof prints and etchings, a really strong image there, isn't it? Coming down here, we've got more still life. Um, I mean, they look good enough to eat. I always want to sort of pluck that and eat that. And we've got more portraits. He's a fine looking chap, lovely, lovely looking sea captain there. Um, quite a bit of interest in that, actually. Um, sometimes, you can have sort of what we call instant ancestors and there's not a great deal of interest, but he's actually a particularly fine looking fellow. And he's estimated between five and eight hundred pounds. 
And then coming on down here, we've got more classic watercolours. But the two last things I want to talk to you about, um, one of which is the oldest thing I'd like to talk to you about. And it's, it's a bit of a difficult thing to see there. I mean, it doesn't look a great deal. But this is, this is a 14th century uh, document on, on, on vellum here. And it's got the remains of a, of a wax seal on it. Now, if you kind of think back to the 14th century, which in all fairness, most of us can't because we were peasants on the land. But that was actually quite a thing. And again, as, as I said earlier on, I've only been in the business now for 30 years. And I cannot think of many 14th century documents I've actually seen and handled. And that's ed estimated at really sort of quite a modest one to 200 pounds. But for those of you who, uh, who think size matters, we've got this absolutely charming little early 18th century Italian miniature. Uh, watercolour painted onto ivory. And we've actually put this on the front of the auction catalogue cover. And obviously that's, that's quite a big, that's a big A4 page. And it looks absolutely huge. And I think some people are going to be quite shocked and surprised when they actually come in and see how little it is. Um, sometimes you read that something is seven by nine centimetres, but you don't always get an image that it's going to be that size. And this charming watercolour, again, a huge amount of interest come in via our website and other specialist websites where our catalogues are loaded. And a lot of interest has come in there. So it's, this is going to be certainly one to watch. And it's estimated at eight to twelve hundred pounds. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the whistle stop tour first of all through george's sporting items thank you george and through the picture print and book section that we've got coming up on thursday the 21st of april uh, 2016 you can see the catalogues on our website charterhouse-auction.com and you can bid live via the sellroom.com as well uh, our next picture sale is coming up in three months time for which we're now accepting entries so i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, why not come and see us one day and that's uh, say i hope you enjoy the sale thank you